guys, today I want us to look at the suction system of the dental chair I fabricated a few months back. Uh, as you see, this is a suction tip. This is a suction tip. This, these are usually detachable and they are uh, disposable. Whenever someone is being worked on, these ones can always be changed. Now, the way I fabricated this, uh, this is a, a suction tube, runs down here, and then the tube is attached to a cup. The cup is attached to another tube here, and then that tube runs and is attached to this device. This one is called the Venturi, and uh, from the Venturi, there is a blue tube as well that runs from the solenoid valve. There's a solenoid, there's this other device called the solenoid valve, and then a tube runs from the solenoid valve to the top of the Venturi. On the, on the other side of the solenoid valve, there's a tube running from down this tube here runs up and connects to the other side of the solenoid valve this tube comes from a, a T junction here and uh, when you have to look at where it comes from I have uh, a tube running from outside this tube is connected this tube here is connected to a compressor and air compressor so compressed air runs in through this tube comes through this T junction goes up sub, uh, supplies uh, the solenoid valve it goes through the solenoid valve from the solenoid valve through the venturi and then that air can be pushed through this waste pipe so um the work of the suction is usually to remove saliva and debris from a mouth of the patient when a dentist when a dentist is working and um, how that happens is uh, just having a look at this when you pull this off the suction starts working but how how does it start to work this suction behind this suction uh, tube there is a small switch here when I touch that switch it will stop working when I release it it will work this is a, a normally closed micro switch in normal circumstances it is it is closed that's why the solenoid is on. This 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 switch has uh, wires that go through this tube, uh, that go through this pipe, and then they go and connect to the solenoid valve inside the others. The wires go through this, and then they connect to the solenoid. Valve. This is this is actually the wire. There are two wires that connect to the switch. It is a normally closed micro switch connected. Now the solenoid valve is is powered by an AC adapter, 24 volts AC adapter powering the solenoid valve here. And uh, when you look at it, it is powered by that, and this this wire is also connected to the switch. So when you when you remove the suction, the solenoid valve will open and allow air to gush through this venturi, compressed air to go through the venturi, and then the, it will drive the, through the venturi and then uh, take it through the waste pipe. Now, the venturi works on a very simple principle. Uh, 
Bernoulli's principle, something, uh, something like this. If you have to look closely, if you have to look closely, usually air comes in at a very high. Uh, compressed air comes in it can be a fluid it can be water or air but in this case it is air runs through this side when it reaches this constricted area it will pass here at a very high velocity so according to Bernoulli's principle where velocity is high pressure is low so this tube here is connected to this section of the area where uh, velocity is high, high and pressure is low so there will be a drop in pressure so in in, the, in that in that sense it will be that negative suction pressure that will cause this to, to suction so this is the venturi device air rushes through the solid when when you when you remove when you remove the suction like this you open the switch you open the switch that is uh, connected to the solenoid valve solenoid valve opens allows in air to gas through the venturi Air is driven through that small constriction at a very high velocity, allowing the pressure on this side to drop. So the effect of that will cause the fluids to be sucked in through here. Now this section also has a cup, this cup here. Usually, uh, on the, when you look at the side of a cup, whenever suction brings in any debris, you will not want that debris to go inside and block the venturi so the heavy debris will drop on the side in the cup and and when you're cleaning up you can always clean and remove every debris from the cup put the cup back so This is a. This is a, when I remove this. Yeah, that sound. It is now sucking. You can have a look at this. So the water playing sound.